Yo guys, welcome back to another Dumbass Stream More Freeze video. Okay, so live stream just ended and like English slides were just straight up, straight up, <laughs> straight up on the uh, Facebook page really, really quickly, which is unusual. I thought I had like time for a coffee or something, but no, not even. So we're going to get into these. And as usual, guys, if you enjoy any of these videos, please be sure to drop a like. I'm trying to get to 50 likes per video. Uh, I upped it a little bit, seeing as everyone just sort of jumped on it and, and hit that like button last time. So uh, 50 likes would be really great if you can get me there. Anyway, let's go through the information. Uh, if I can press, okay, right. So the new episodes or new chapters of the story quests will come out from episode 48 to 51. Uh, you will get a free start 11 draw ticket or just an 11 draw ticket uh, for completing all of them up to episode. I think that's on normal though not hard um, it doesn't say it's a, it just says clear episode 51 so I assume you get it for clearing it on normal not hard or very hard sorry and as usual when main story chapters are released they have an accompanying banner and this is the banner again another fucking Ryu and uh, if you don't know who that is that is Lily when she transformed obviously you should know you should have watched the anime at the very least so you should know who that is uh, that is Lily uh, in her transformed form or in a transformed form I should put it so we have another banner. I'm going to go over the stats and skills because the guys over on the Reddit Discord have done translations. So we can look at them in a minute. But we're going to go through the rest of these news first. Uh, man, we've got so many. I mean, this this Lily, Transfiguration Lily. Yeah, so this Lily is really unique. Like, so as a, on a collection type thing, I'd say, yeah, like, you know, kind of want at least one copy of her just for that. But Ryu, there's so many Ryu units, man. Um, <laughs> okay, Seven Zone comes back. Obviously not a big deal. Record Buster, Otal. You know what? I don't mind. Otal hits hard, though. That's the problem. Otal hits hard. Uh, and then from the 13th, we have True Family Royale will be coming. Uh, we have the stage information as well. So let's look at that real quick. Wait, 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 wait. You ain't about to just skim over that like we didn't. Did they, have they put it in the wrong order? Is that the issue? Oh dear lord. Okay, well we have the information over on the Dumbachi Reddit Discord. So we'll look at that there too. So on the 13th, we will get the True Family Royale. I'll go over the stages real quick. This might be a longer video than usual. So bear with me guys. Um, <laughs> I did not expect them to drop a banner with familiar royale it's usually not done that way so obviously you're gonna have to give me a little bit more time to explain all of the information okay so from the 19th that's the week after they give us two weeks worth of news okay uh one thing you probably will uh notice is that you know i'm pretty sure if i read it correctly we have war game back to back which is weird but war game is coming in this okay right we'll just look at this this is probably the easiest way to see what's coming how about that uh because this is my first time rolling through these slides along with you so on the 12th we have the main story episodes 48 to 51 uh seventh zone and record buster okay so it's record buster and war game cool i thought it was a bit weird that people thought that we had war game back to back from the 13th true familiar royale starts and then from the 19th which is you know obviously the week after that we have the seventh zone and then another war game and date soon jst as always uh that should be the last of that information we can jump over to the discord and check out i'm going to do the familiar royale slides first and then we'll look at the banners okay Okay, so we're over here at the Dumbachi Morphish Reddit Discord. This is stage one. As you can see, Insect Killer is effective. It buffs allies' strength and single target damage resist. It uh, has minus 20% physical resistance, zero magical resistance, minus 50% water resistance, minus 30% light resistance. Fire, Earth, Wind, and Dark are 0% resistance, and then Thunder is plus 20. Um, so pretty sure we're going to be bringing, as you can see right here, uh, Aisha and if you're lucky enough to have both Aisha and the uh, bell that came before her then you'll probably be okay in stage one I'm not gonna give team thing I'm probably gonna make videos on these depending on how fast my familiar goes through it so if I can grab one of every stage that'd be great but we'll see okay so we're looking at stage two insect killer once again is effective it debuffs foes water resist strength and magic um, buffs allies single target and AoE damage resist oh that's a pain in the ass 
minus 20% physical resist, zero magic resist, minus 60% thunder resist. I've got Asfi, but I'm pretty sure. I don't know how well she's going to. Anyway, minus 60% thunder resist, uh, fire, earth, wind, <laughs> light, and dark are zero, and uh, water is 30. Uh, if nothing else, if you don't have a thunder team, I'm pretty sure fire will still work here, because fire tends to just work on every fucking thing anyway. So we're moving on to stage three. Uh, and then finally we're on stage three, which is the stage all of the all of the Record Buster players like to linger on is uh, Insect Killer, as always, you know, as the other two, is effective. Buffs self strength for magic, minus 20% physical, so no magic stages this time around, that's cool. Uh, minus 0% magic resistance, minus 30% wind, fire, earth, water, thunder, light, and dark are zero. So who are they expecting you to bring? Probably here, Kinthos. I've completely forgot about him because I didn't draw a single copy of the fucking arsehole. Anyway, right. <laughs> um, that is going to be all of the stages, but we're going to look at the new units and what they do. Uh, like I said, today's video is going to be a little bit longer than usual, so you just got to bear with me. Okay, so first up is the Ryu, and don't get me wrong, I love Ryu as a character. I think she's, you know, she's a waifu, but we have too many Ryus. I, I, I can't, I can't do it, man. Uh, the stats looking really good, but I'm not really, you know, I mean, I don't micromanage stats, so. It, it, they tend to only really matter to that much. They tend to only really matter when you micromanage them during war game. That's pretty much it. So, um, SA is an AOE ultra dark magic attack, ultra unguard rate, and great temporary magic boost. Strength, magic, agility, physical resist, and magic resist minus 50% for one turn. That's kind of the one turn. It, they could have at least done two turns, but that is a hell of a debuff straight off the bat. Um, that's pretty sweet, to be fair. Uh, skill 1 is an AoE, fast, strength, magic, agility, physical resist, and magic resist minus 30%. Allies, strength, magic, agility, physical resist, and magic resist plus 30 for one turn. The one turn on that, again, is really... Yeah, it's like giving someone... the oh, Mate, that, that's pretty poor. Like, the one turn. Not the overall skill itself is really good, but they could have at least set it to two turns. Given that everything's 30%, so they've managed to balance it out because currently we're looking at debuffs at 40% and buffs at, you know, the buffs have been ridiculous lately on these new units. Uh, at skill 2 is a AoE fast high dark magic attack, ultra unguard rate, self dark attack damage plus 80%. This is exactly what I'm fucking talking about. 80% elemental buff. Just what? Um, for four turns and four additional actions of a low AoE dark magic attack. And Dark Resist, minus 40%. So we have the 40% uh, increased Elemental Resistance debuff finally out in the game. Um, Dark hasn't received any love for a little bit. Um, for me, I can't. I can't, man. I, I need one co I think one copy of her just for the Dark Resist bump. But that's about it. It's what I'd be going for, for me specifically. Uh, and then a single target... High Dark Magic Attack, Ultra Penetration Rate, and Temporary Great Magic Boost on Skill 3. And then her passives are uh, Light Resist, plus 35%. Magic Agility and Dex, plus 35%. Damage on Crit and Penetration, plus 15%. And then plus 20% Physical Resist and Magic Resist. Nothing too out of the ordinary there. Uh, and then we're going to move on to the Lily. Okay, so looking at the Lily, um, I don't know what to say about those stats, but <laughs> to be fair, minus 20% Water Resist. And guard rate and plus 100% slow slow resist I'm not really okay where it counts like the PVE will say PVE even though PvP technically is still PVE um, the PVE modes the minus 20% wall resist is obviously great guard rates you know debuff is great but the slow resist uh, I don't really worry about slow resist in record buster I know sometimes it can be a pain in the ass you know, when you really need Haruhime to go when it's her turn and she's been slowed and she, you know, it is what it is. Um, but in war game, that can make a big difference, just having that slow resist. But I don't see her misplacing or displacing the current, who is it? It's Yellow Chick Hestia, and I use her as well. It's a 5% bump for that, as well as a guard rate debuff, but I'm pretty sure all of these are covered except slow resist. It is a, f I'm not sure how, what the... Drop in the comments and let me know who, how much Yellow Chick Hestia does debuff. Uh, I could check the game right now, but I'm very, very lazy. Um, but that is going to be it. What am I going to be doing with this banner? Um, I'm going to go for a one and done and hope for a copy of Ryu just for the dark 
uh, resist debuff. I'm not too big on the Lily. Hopefully I can get one copy just because she is a very unique unit in the sense that no other unit is going to look like her. I wonder how the CP item works on it though. Um, will it, it'll probably be the same CP technically. Probably. I'm guessing here. If you know, drop that in the comments as well. I'll pin it. I'll let other people know. It's you know, it's a it's a it's a forum for information. Anyway, that is going to be everything. I do apologize for the video being any longer than usual. Um, again, they sort of dropped a lot of information on us. I like the way they left the uh, familiar rush slides out of the English version, though, which was a bit thing. But again, you guys over on the Damachi Memorial Free Reddit Discord. Uh, keeping everyone informed anyway that's gonna be everything guys please be sure to try and get me to 50 likes uh if you enjoyed the video that is if you didn't enjoy the video please don't like the video don't feel like i'm begging i'm not it's just i want to get to 50 likes it'll help me if you appreciate it there's no reason not to anyway that's gonna be everything guys have a great fucking day whatever you're doing uh i love you and i'll catch you later